Noisy way to start, isn't it? Well, it's uh, it's one of those things that was it was confusing a few students, and it used to confuse the hell out of me. Um, the big thing uh, was really about movement around the kit. It's when you start to to move around the kit that's very often where we can get confused. It's one of the things that I teach and uh, one of the techniques that I get into. Um, the biggest thing is really understanding how you go from one place to another, from one drum to another. Um, oh, by the way, you might notice that the kit's round the right way. So, uh, thank you, Scott Hyam. That was really nice of you, mate. Uh, he showed me that there's a button on this uh, Facebook thing, and uh, it really does help to understand a few of the uh, <laughs> a few of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> about how to actually record this stuff but yeah understanding how to move around the kit really you need to take it slow it's going to be different for everybody pretty much uh, because the, the the actual kit itself is going to be as personal uh, personal um, as each one of our characters are uh, I might choose to actually have a set of octobarns up on the left hand side somebody else might choose to have a snare drum or a, a high tom or a low tom in the same position. It's really about what we want to hand at that particular place. Once we've decided what kind of tones we want, then we've got to get around the kit. And really the, the temptation is always just to uh, hammer through a load of exercises and not really understand precisely what you're getting from each. The central thing is really understanding the sound, the sound that you want to get. Do you want to get a continuous flow of sound? And that might be the case. Uh, on the other hand, you might want to have that sort of interrupted sound of different tones, in which case perhaps instead of choosing to go uh, 10, 12, 14 or 16 inch tom, uh, you might go um, 14 maybe an eight, um, just like Gary Husband did, uh, does, the great Gary Husband, um, wonderful player, and uh, doesn't want to just be playing in that orthodox fashion, whereby he goes around the kit and he goes from um, a higher tom to a lower tom to a lower tom to a lower tom, to a, just following the, what most of us do. And it's really, um, people like that that make us think about how we've actually set things up and what kind of sounds and tones and combinations we're, we're going for and do we want to change to go with what they have actually been doing for a while. Anyway, once you start to decide uh, which combination of uh, so uh, sounds you want, then you've got to make sure you hit them and really that's what you have to focus on. I was talking to... Um, uh, the wonderful Wallway, Colin Wallway the other week, um, and he was talking about kit uh, ideas and kit rudiments. And I think this is one that would actually qualify, and it's made me think about some ideas. So I'll be talking to you, Mr. Wallway. Uh, I think it might help him in his, um, in his uh, search for, for ideas. But it's just, you know, as it's drum kit, we should be thinking in terms of these uh, moving around the, the, the toms, moving around the kit, as scales that we do. I certainly remember going to, I've mentioned it many times, the late great Bobby Armstrong, and um, saying to Bobby, I was having a bit of trouble actually getting around the kit. And he said, well, do you ever practice getting around the kit? I said, no. He said, well, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so Bobby was great, and he actually explained so much Sometimes uh, I just had one of those aha uh -huh mo moments. It just opened my eyes. But really to understand how to move around, you've got to, as I've said before, aim for the center of each drum. And you need to do it slowly. You can't just go at a million miles an hour. So as you start to play, you want to be making sure that that's what you're going for. No matter what the uh, amount of notes you play on each drum but 
if you're only playing two notes on a drum and you're playing a 30 second note roll around the kit then it's going to happen quite quick so you should really be thinking in terms of practicing precisely that if it's going to be four notes then you're going to be there a little while but there are certain combinations that you have to be careful of and you have to watch your motion you have to think about how you start and how you finish but it was just that uh, somebody was asking me about this earlier on and I thought I would uh, just mention it briefly uh, it's really about staying in the center of the drum but uh, if you have found this at all helpful then uh, please uh, just give us a little like below and if you want to share it uh, then by all means feel uh, feel free to do so if you've got any questions please ask away I'll be absolutely delighted to help you and if you uh, need lessons I've got some spaces uh, here at Foots anyway ciao for now